Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to plot a polar plot in MATLAB, and also we're going to compare that with a Cartesian coordinate plot. We're going to use a sine function for this purpose. Now, in this video, we are going to see a Cartesian coordinate has both x and y axis. Now, it will generate a Cartesian plot by plotting in the x in the x axis and y in the y axis. But in the polar plot, we have r for the radius and theta for the angle. So theta goes from 0 to 2 pi in a circle and r is the radius here. So it defines the radius. Now I'm going to go to MATLAB and then we're going to see how to plot this polar plot. Okay, so now I have opened, already opened this script and saved it and I have already generated this variable t that goes from 0 to 2 pi with an increment of 0.01. You can define another variable we want, and this is just for an example. Okay, now, as we said, the variable y can be defined as a sine function t. This is the amplitude or the y-axis value, so I just define y, and I'll put a semicolon at the end, and then um, we're going to plot it. Now, we're going to use the command called polar for this. So let's just type help polar and see what is the polar command doing here. So with the polar command, we can use the theta and rho. Theta is in the radians here, is in the angle, and rho is the radius. So let's just do um, polar. And for here, let's just place theta and y. Theta here is the t, so it goes from 0 to 2 pi, and y is our rho. If I do that and run this, it should generate a polar plot, and it should look something like this. So as you can see, a sign in a polar plot is a circle. Now we can add a title here, like this, the plot saying polar plot for a sign function and that should generate also a title for this. So now you can see it generated a title and it has a circle as a polar plot. Now we're going to see how does it do with a Cartesian plot. So I'm going to generate another figure here with the command figure and in the braces I can, um, in the parentheses I can type 2 and that says that generate another figure and then there, I'm going to use this command called plot and do the exact same thing, t and y. Now, this plot will generate a Cartesian coordinate. And I can say title um, Cartesian coordinate for a sine function. Okay, now let's go here let's run it so it should generate two different plots as you can see the second plot is a Cartesian coordinate sign plot it looks like something like this and the first one is a polar plot which looks like a circle so in this video we have seen how to do a polar plot in MATLAB that's it for now thank you for watching see you in the next one